Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much again for joining me here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's take another look here at HBAR, double check a few important things. We blasted straight through that point of control, uh, that heavy liquidation range. So we'll take a look at that as well. Uh, that, that 15 to 15, five range was that uh, supposed to provide a lot of resistance and the price just continued straight through. But we got extra volume flowing in and this is a very, very good sign. I do also wanna say thank you again to my HBAR community or at least all those who are newer to the community based on that I just kind of throw it out there. HBAR did very well. It's probably one of my best performing videos. 40 subscribers, so welcome aboard. This is awesome stuff. Uh, thanks again so much for being an awesome part of my life. And uh, also, congrats to our community members who took some nice solid trades with us here. Of course, we took an HBAR trade as a result of that video. Uh, I provide that trade alert to our community here at about 44% in two days. Uh, that was just a 5x leverage trade from what I think we got in at 14.5 and averaged in to 14.2 uh, when we took our second entry. Because again, I always like to provide multiple entries just in case you missed out. That's all available there, but congrats to our Tau <laughs> members as well for 71% profit and SUI 25% in 12 hours. So good little uh, profitable day yesterday when I was just hanging out, chilling with my family. So love to see that. Uh, anyways, thanks again for the support. Let's pull up uh, the back end liquidation data. I wanna look at the 12 hour here because we can't really see a ton on the seven day. It's kind of a, a little bit on the funky side there. Maybe the 12 hour would be a better indicator of what's going on. Kind of got to zoom in a little bit here to see because these colors are a little off. So let's see if we can find anything good here. Usually, again, when we're looking at liquidation, folks, we want to see if it's either above or below the price, like where people are hedged with longs or shorts. And right now we can see a decent amount of shorts starting to flow in here at about 16.2 to 16.4, upwards of 16.6. So a lot of times when I set my take profit targets, they're going to be right in that range of liquidation. So just below 16.6 would make a ton of sense because there's a Pretty solid chunk of liquidation up there and that range, okay? And then obviously, more of a macro perspective, if we get closer to our, our highs here, about 17 cents, our local high, we can see that between 17 and 18 has a pretty big chunk as well, okay? So just some things to be mindful of. These help us with take profit targets in a lot of ways. We can see here the liquidation delta is right here more swinging towards longs than shorts, so more people are long in the market than shorts on HBAR. Big surprise, we kind of know that by looking at the charts, but it's important to recognize that trading with the, the, the grain instead of against the grain can be much more helpful and beneficial. Uh, we look here too as well, we can kind of zoom in, we can see most people are locally here or lately are in at about 15.1, 15.2. That's actually a pretty good entry because it, it broke just above that local, that local high. Because again, 14.8 to 15 cents was a difficult place to cross last night. In fact, I kept checking my phone like, when the heck is this thing gonna break? <laughs> it finally did and hasn't looked back yet. So cool stuff there. All right, so let's clean up the charts. We'll work our way down. And as per usual, if you're not familiar, I always post a playout chart on our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. And this is the, the playout from yesterday, of course. Uh, two possible scenarios, the price either continues higher or comes down first and it goes back up, which is essentially what happened. It ranged down as low as 13.6. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the backend data, which we've already done. Let's go to the daily time frame and kind of see where we're at. And we just recognize here the SMAs are going to be good. Weekly is the same way. I'm just going to save you the time. The weekly time frame looks phenomenal. There's no other way around it. Same thing here as well with the, the daily. We got a convergence on the, on the stochastic. Keep in mind this is the first sto stochastic convergence. Second one carries more weight, uh, but it's still a good start. Kind of letting us know the shift in momentum is happening. When this swings all the way down, the price goes up. That tells us we got more room for growth. Same thing here with the RSI right there at about 70. Money flow index above it. It's all very positive here. These are extremely positive signs. And the MACD is kind of plateauing too. So there's really no indication the price is going to want to pull back. And again, when we took that trade, we, were, we had our stop loss set below this point of control. Because again, 13.8, 13.6, that level held fairly strong as that. And the reason why points of control are important is because it tells you where everyone is interested, right? So in the last two weeks of trading, ever since we've been in this range roughly, more like 10 days, we're going to see that this is the area that people have bought the most HBAR, 13.7, 13.8. And that essentially reiterated and reaffirmed itself as a support yesterday. So let's look at the four hour. This is probably the most indicative time frame to help understand where you're at in the overall trend. So to clarify, this descending trend line has been broken. It was running concurrent with 20-day SMA. Now we're running to the upwards, all right? So basically we have a lot of supporting factors below us. That's a very positive sign. So being over the 20 and the 50 to me are pretty huge. We are now creeping up to the 70 level on the RSI. If we break through that, folks, price is probably gonna continue to run. You do gotta recognize though that Bitcoin is on the pullback. 
if Bitcoin pulls back a little bit further, we might see a correction from HBAR. In fact, it's probably best to presume that happens, especially with our local high being close. But if that were to occur, the likelihood of breaking through it is still much higher based on A, liquidation, and two, basically the, the secondary concept is just simple fact that you generally will break a resistance level if you retest it multiple times. And we're getting there. I'll show you that in a minute, but money flow index above the RSI, super huge. That implies that people still feel like this is a good value and there's more money in the, in the coin to be able to sustain this price action, which is again, what we saw here at 13.8, right? I talked about that in the last video, if you caught it a couple days ago, if not, that's cool too, welcome on board. <laughs> Either way you look at it, this is uh, cool stuff because I've been, I've been trading HBAR for a long time since it first came out and uh, it's always kind of uh, one of those coins that's, it's unpredictable but also very predictable in a lot of ways. And what I mean by that is once we start seeing volumes increase, you can start to trade this coin a little bit more confidently. It got stuck in a little weird zone for a few, a few months and or years, but now it's back on track and it's nice to see. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull up the hourly time frame and just recognize here that we're probably gonna get a lot of confirming factors, which we do have them all here. Uh, so not much to really speak on here, except for the fact that we have a fair value gap as low as 15.2. So if HBAR does pull back, it's normal for those areas to get filled. I wouldn't worry too much about that. What I want to talk about here before we conclude is just the simple fact that we're getting into our local high territory at about 17 cents as a round number. So it's a really common characteristic for coins to cup and handle, and we've seen a lot of these right now, where the price action comes up. In fact, Bitcoin is perfectly uh, starting to, to form its cup and handle as well. And these are good patterns that are, they're only beneficial if they're, the, the TA is complementing it. In other words, just because you see a cup and handle or an inverse head and shoulders or all that crap, it doesn't mean anything unless everything else is confirming that same direction. So the cup and handle patterns are typically bullish. So hypothetically, the price continues higher, rejects off 17 cents. We may see something along these lines to bounce off its local 0.618 Fib level. It's extremely common. So just, just know the price comes up and rejects off 17 cents. I wouldn't be super concerned with it. I feel as if we're probably likely to more, more likely than not to bounce off the local support. I also have this red line on the chart that's usually going to be construed as a, a pretty macro uh, support level. And the reason why that's drawn out is because previously we've closed here and had difficulty closing above. And what do you know, today here so far, we're due to close above that. If we do, a bullish back to that previous high makes a lot more sense, okay? So if we look at the hourly here, price were to come up, continue a little bit higher, reject off its local high, it should work its way down and inevitably consolidate here and take off. So hypothetically, either now or later, 15.5 seems like a very practical and logical place to consider a long position uh, pending you know, <laughs> other confirming factors are present. You don't just take a long on the blind because of that, but those are really solid uh, confirming factors. A lot of confluence in that range here, letting us know that this 15.3 to 15.5 is a very, very solid uh, area of consideration for long. It could even be now or later. Just depends on how the price plays out. Either way, I'll post this playout chart on our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord, give you perspective of what, you know, kind of recap what we just discussed here. But it's looking pretty solid here. I like the way the H bar is performing. And again, congrats to our community members for that. What was it? Uh, let's see here. I think it was. I have a trade results channel here. Look at this. Dom Persian Accid accidentally hit a 20x leverage long on that one. Nice play, buddy. Either way, 173%, so good job, folks. Again, we're all using BitUnix, too, if you're not familiar. Uh, make sure you use my link to register. Next month, we're having, actually, in the month of December, that's really close here. Another couple days, we're having a $12,000 deposit bonus for members. All the details are here. It's a pr collective price pool like we did last month, but we had a pretty solid price pool last month, 60K spread amongst the top 20 traders. Again, just really cool, fun stuff here just to be able to use in exchange that coincidentally, no KYC or VPN required in the US. So check them out, folks. I think, I think they're awesome. And I think you're awesome too. We'll look forward to seeing the next one. Have yourself a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Take care.